the much anticipated Legends versus Trinidad and Tobago All Stars match lived up to the hype last night at the Hazley Crawford Stadium, with the game finishing with a 5 5 scoreline, along with a man of the match performance from Brazilian football legend Ricardo Kaká. Thousands gathered last night at the Hazley Crawford Stadium for the highly anticipated Russell Latifi Foundation's Legends match between the Legends team and the Trinidad and Tobago All-Stars. The showcase event began in style as this cross from TNT International Jovin Jones was met by the diving head of 2006 TNT World Cup squad member Anthony Wolf to open the scoring. The Legends would quickly have their say thanks to the Brazilian connection as Rivaldo crosses back to Ricardo Kaká who leveled the scoring at 1-1. TNT World Cup captain Dwight York came close with this curling effort that went just wide. The goals would continue with Wolf getting his second to make it 2-1 for the TNT All-Stars. All-Stars made it 3-1 with Colin Samuel putting Wolf through one goal to grab a memorable hat-trick for the midfielder. The legends would show their class in the second third, with World Cup winner Cafu putting Marvin Phillip on the ground to make it 3 2. The comeback continued as Kaka grabbed his second to level the scores at 3 to end the second third. The TNT crowd was clearly having a good time as the Mexican wave broke out. The legends would take the lead for the first time in the match, following this handball by Jones, which led to Kaka scoring from the spot to claim a hat-trick of his own, making it 4-3. That lead would not last long, with some lovely link-up play that led to Keon Daniel levering the score. Samuel grabbed his second on the night, to regain the lead at 5-4. With time running out, the legends fought back one final time with a given goal between Kevin Molino and Latapi that led to this finish from Molino to make it 5-5. That's how it would come to an end with a score reading Legends 5, TNT All-Stars 5, Minister of Sport and Community Development, Shamfa Kojo Lewis was on hand to present Kaka with a Man of the Match award. Captains of both teams, Kafu and Clayton Morris, one hand to be presented with the Legends Trophy to cap off a historical night in Trinidad and Tobago football. Wayne Cunningham, TTT Sport. Arguably the most successful player to come out of Trinidad and Tobago and captain of the TNT 2006 World Cup squad, Dwight York, shared his thoughts on the successful Legends match. Following an historical night for Trinidad and Tobago football in the form of the Legends match at the Hazley Crawford Stadium, captain of the heroic Trinidad and Tobago 2006 World Cup squad, Dwight York, who participated in Friday's match, spoke on the significance of the game. These are real top Rivaldo who I played head to head with against Barcelona on a few occasions. Again, know these guys well. So it's good to see the public come out and give the support and get to see them close up a little bit. Yes, we're a little bit older now and not quite as refined as we used to be, but it still gives the young kids, our generation, hopes that these type of players can still come here and whatever left of them we've been able to see a little bit. And I think that has to be a blessing in itself. York added that he is happy with a turnout scene at the event. Not really, I, you know, I kind of got a feedback. Russell obviously um, was part of the organization, so I had a little bit of feedback. I wouldn't miss anything, although the journey was a little bit telling, but I wouldn't miss it for anything. And I, I, I really appreciate of the, the people of Trinidad and Tobago coming out and supporting such a wonderful event. And hopefully it will kickstart, you know, uh, football in this country because you see what football does for our country, unite the people. It's, it's one of the sports that the people's sports, as we call it. And it's so good to see everybody comes together and really support such a thing. So let's hope the World Cup campaign is something that is really on a positive note. 
And as you see, you've seen the support what we have. So let's hope that continues. York said that he believes Trinidad and Tobago are stifling their opportunity to recruit foreign-based players. Use, we're only a small country. We haven't got too many people to choose from. So anybody with any type of nationality that links to Trinidad and Tobago, that play of a certain level, that can only be a benefit to us. So why deprive that? So that's something we need to look at. The people, the head of state, so are the ones who can make those decisions. But I think we are limiting ourselves by not allowing people who had something to, to, to connect to Trinidad and Tobago in, in a bloodstream type of way and having to go through the difficulty of getting the passport. So we need, we need those little things to go away to really improve the, the quality that we're so lacking at the moment. We in Cunningham, TDG Sport.